Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon Crimson Court. I'm not really doing a series on this or anything. I really wanted to stream this game, but I can't even get rid of the black boxes around the screens and everything's just bad. I just, uh, I need new stuff. But, uh, I figured since I finally got to the Baron, like this was absurdly long. I had to leave and come back here so many times. I finally got to the Baron. And it was like this bug thing in the front, and it used an ability called Let the Show Begin, and it became one of the eggs. That's really all that happened, was I got here and then healing was prevented, apparently. So, you hit the wrong one, and then... I'd rather have handle these people first. It looks like a guessing game. Which one was it? It was actually the very front. Hmm. I don't know if we're going to get any indication of that later. But I would like to get rid of the ads first. At least one of them. I made sure that everybody was already infected with the Crimson Curse before coming here. I've been using these exact same four people exclusively for this place so that they don't level up. Healing is no longer prevented. Your resistances. I have an extra 60%, 30, 190. You can't resist this. So we need to start killing the Baron, I think. This is just a veteran mission. So... Ah, the extra stress. It was already pretty bad when we got in here. I went and did all of this this run. The birthplace of dread. They're going to die anyway. We're already infected, so the others aren't too bad. Really easy to bleed, too. Crab pleaser. You should... Shoot the thing in the back. I imagine when these things die, it'll use that ability again that'll prevent healing, and we have to guess which one it is again. 25. But as long as it doesn't really heal up, that'll be fine. 10 more damage. This thing does have a ton of health. But it, if this thing wasn't super strong, it'd be kind of anticlimactic after all of the crap. I had to fight another crocodilian on here. Vortikin's Resolve! Asochistic. Like, one out of 20 times are they actually virtuous. I just think it sucks whenever these stack together. You know what? I'll just use the blood. You know what? I'll just use the blood. There. Whenever you have the Crimson Curse and an Affliction together, it is awful. It's like impossible to get them to do what you want. A decent amount of the time, anyway. This ability is freaking awesome. Uh, it heals you for 46% of your maximum health and puts an 8 point bleed on them. And this is again not max rank. So 11 damage plus 24. And it can crit. Necessary discipline. Just seeing bleeds or any dots that go up that high is crazy. This is a really strong, like, uh, champion hero person. And when he hits zero health, he heals everyone else on the team. So if everybody's on death's door and he gets to death's door, everybody else is fixed. And whenever he's below half health, he can use that move. And the healing on him can crit. So he could get to death's door and then 100% heal his entire health bar back. And because he hit zero, he heals everybody else. I thought that was pretty cool. He's really useful. It's difficult to kill him. The thing that's going to kill your flagellant every time is him getting a heart attack. Because when he's constantly hitting death's door and then getting to half health and then hitting death's door and then getting to half health, it gives, it builds so much stress really fast. That stress really ends up being his undoing. Um, does your position, uh, yeah, you have more accuracy. I think I actually want you to move back. They're gonna start doing crap like that and it's gonna be annoying. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. I see. Or cowardice. I'm going to attack one. Nope. They start passing turns. I'm going to kill this one. 
now that he's essentially dead, I will attack this one. Was it this one? Nope. But the bleed carries over. So let's pretty much kill this one. That works. I don't know if there's a timer. Maybe if they're in the pulsating egg for too long, it explodes and hits everybody. I really don't know. I haven't looked anything up. I've just been playing this casually for fun and stuff. But I got to a boss, and I was like, you know, people might want to see that. The last one. Of course. Dead. I think his stuff works really well. His bleeds, not only do they bleed for absurd amounts, they reduce bleed resistance even faster than the Highwayman. So... Increase debuff chance, increase bleed chance. It lowers the bleed chance so that if it doesn't work the first time, it's gonna work the second. And it just does so much damage. 22. Hey, it didn't even heal up. And even though you're doing your own thing, you're still helpful. I like the bolas. I never used those the last time I played this game. But having a cleave is pretty cool. Even if it isn't that much damage. I just had rapid fire the last time I did this. Two points! Crab Pleaser again! And Super Punch! It reduces his damage, dodge, and speed, but I mean, honestly, he really doesn't need those. As life ebbs, 18. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Actually, pretty considerable damage. It makes sense that the thirst from the Baron would do a hell of a lot more, though. 13. The only person who can heal her is the Plague Doctor. Ah, uh, she might die. Wow. Usually, the first chance RNG gets to murder my whole party. They just kind of fall over. Crowd pleaser. Ooh, the terrible inaccuracy. Three damage. Actually, 15 on top of that. Necessary discipline. As long as you haven't let me hit you a few times, I don't really care. Facing the abyss. Okay. Horror and stuff. Ah, I love it when you pass your turns. You could have saved our Plague Doctor, but... Why do that when you could not, right? The third act. Because these are actually numbered, I'm thinking... Survival yeah. Is a tenuous I'm thinking that, uh... In this sprawling tomb. It's actually by a percent health. So I'm gonna hit this one. Of course. Then we're going to handle this one. We can't use healing. So we'll use bolas. Flipped him into the back. Still can't... Hmm. We obviously have time. We're just gonna whittle him down then. Pop. And dead. Then I'll hit this front one. Does it have to be the last one or something? Or am I seriously just that unlucky? I gotcha. Annihilated. You're craving? You know what? I will give you that blood that you want. Punish. Make it bleed. There's another seven. There's 18 more. And you're already going to take 15 more damage. Come to me, pray. It doesn't matter. He's in the front. Oh, Falcon Punch. 13 damage a turn. Unless it spams the thirst, this is over. I see what you did there. And it really didn't make a bit of difference. The jig is up. The game is done. Battered Lawman's Badge. 
They give you lots of neat trinkets. I think the bottom effects only work if you have the Crimson Curse, but I could be wrong. I never, I don't really know how much of this stuff goes. It sucks that we lost somebody, but honestly, I've been saving this crew at Veteran for so long that I just, I don't really care anymore. Torches, don't need. I'll pick up the blueprints. Shovels can die. I'll take that. Bandages, whatever. Oh, I actually had bandages. I could have stopped the bleed stuff. Ah, whatever. Let's get out of here. That was a very, very long mission. I mean, I've, I've been not really playing this game too terribly much. Just in some free time here and there. But I had to actually leave and come to this dungeon. Like, five or six times, probably. This is the same game that I started playing. Like, this is the same file that I used uh, when I started streaming, but the streams just had so many problems. The virulent clouds from the courtyard have abated. The airs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. The haze of contagion has abated, due in no small part to the recent triumph over whatever age-old horror was lurking behind the long-sealed courtyard. Removes the Crimson Curse from all affected heroes. Oh, that's cool. Is it also not very... Infestation, none. Ah, uh, now we have to kill a Viscount. Viscount's trophy. This might mean... Oh, okay. Well, then this is probably the, uh... The final one that ends the Crimson Curse or whatever. I don't know. The Crimson Curse has been a huge pain in the ass, but it's mostly just in the beginning of the game. Because it makes it so that you're immune to all other diseases, I've kind of been liking it just because there's no downtime. Like, I don't have to send people to the sanitarium whenever they get the Red Plague or the Black Plague or whatever, because they can't get those. They're constantly a pain in the butt, but it's not something that I have to pay for, which is exactly why we have so much money. Anyway... I just thought this might be kind of neat to throw together. If you guys liked it and maybe you want to see me when I get to the Viscount, just let me know and maybe I'll make a video for that too. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.